why AI-based PPC automation is far more superior to human-based rules. Imagine you plan to drive across your country and visit some cool places along the way. What is the most important technology that you would need to have a successful and enjoyable trip? Most people take this for granted, but it's our GPS, and we don't even need a separate device for it. It's built right into our phones. 20 years ago, people had to print out their maps, draw their route, and follow it. They had no idea of the traffic or the road conditions or any alternative routes or diversions due to changing conditions. So why am I telling you all this? Because people using rule-based systems are a lot like people downloading their maps and planning their journey, rather than letting an automated GPS show them the way. In this video, I'm going to walk you over some ways that rule-based PPC systems is severely destroying your PPC game. Number one, the death spiral. Of all of the worst things that could happen to you when you use a rule-based system, this one stands out as the worst. So what's the death spiral? Imagine that in a rule-based system, you set your bid to lower when the ACoS is higher than the target. Lowering the bid will then further lower your sales, which in turn lowers your ACoS even further. This trend then spirals out of control until the bid for your keyword is so low that there is no sales. There is no recovering from this. Number two, seasonality changes. Some products have seasonality sales, like winter jackets or snowshoes. How do you account for that with a rule-based system? One way would be to keep a list of all the products and their seasonal sales patterns and then change the rules for each product during their off-season and peak season. Yeah, no thank you. Too much work. I would rather the AI do it automatically and more precisely. Number three, weekend, weekday, and holiday changes. One more trending pattern. How do you accommodate rules for different beats on weekends as well as holidays? The chances of death spiral we talked above increases drastically during holidays and weekends when people are clicking and raising your ACoS. Your manual rule sets are going to instinctively decrease bids without considering that it's a holiday or a weekend, unless you log in every weekend and holiday and change the rules. And I'm pretty sure that this is not what you want to do and ruin your holidays and weekends doing boring, mundane tasks of ad management. Leave it to the AI. Number four, competitor changes. The most overlooked aspect for the AI versus rule-based systems is that rule-based systems do not consider a competitor landscape. Competitors are ever-changing and dynamic. Their bids ultimately affect your ACoS because ads are an auction-based system. Having fixed rules means that you're fixed and rigid in an ever-changing dynamic sea of ads auctions. Number five, automated day parting. This is simply impossible for a rule-based system. The most popular way that almost all sellers achieve day parting is to set up a system where your campaigns are active from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., for example, or even different times on weekends. This is a big mistake since different products have different buying times. Also, prime time for shopping is 8 p.m. and you're missing out the best sales by switching off your ad during prime time. It could be possible that some of your products sell best at midnight on weekends and some products sell better at 5 a.m. on Mondays. The only way that you could figure this out is if you went through the sales history of all your products and analyzed the sales trend. And even if you got the sales trend, there's simply no easy way to set up complex rules like this with the rule-based systems. It would work when you have one or two products, but as you grow in size and products, it's utterly impossible to have dynamic bids with automated date parting. AI-based system can handle this easily and boost and suppress bids for thousands of SKUs in seconds, depending on peak and off-peak time. Number six. Historical performance. How do you handle historical performance in a rule-based engines? That was a trick question. The answer is you don't. Rule-based systems cannot handle the fact that your current poor performing keyword was a star performance a month ago. It doesn't need as harsh treatment as other genuinely poor performing keywords. Sometimes it's just a rough patch for the keyword. Don't take a sledgehammer rules-based system and pummel it. Number seven. Black hat manipulators and bullies. 
Another overlooked aspect in the dog-eat-dog -dog world and secret among Black Hat PPC optimizers. How this works is Black Hat PPC agents temporarily raise their bids too high and start winning sales at a loss. This increases their conversion rate, click-through rate, and their sales rank. They then gradually drop their bids, but in the meantime, your rules-based engine is initially struggling with lack of sales and then suddenly an increase in ACoS. Once your rules-based engines start dropping the bids without considering the historical performance of your keywords, the performance of other products, the performance of your account in general, it enters the death spiral. Number eight, a holistic approach. Profitable ads is just about setting a target ACoS. Much more things need to be considered. The particular keyword historical performance, your campaign performance, your whole account performance, the weekday, weekend, holiday, peak hour, and off-peak hour. AI systems have around 100 parameters to consider before making a change, while rules-based systems just have a narrow focus on ACoS. Number nine, don't flog a dead horse. There comes a time when plenty of your products are doing exceptionally well, but some of your products are just bleeding ad costs. Even after a couple of seasons, the sales are low and ad costs are high. Take a look at the CVR and CTR that AI-based systems are highlighting. Can you prove it? If not, maybe it's time to finally give up that dead product and find new winning products. Sure, printing out maps and getting lost in the woods is fun, just like the good old days. And we recommend you do it when you're driving cross country. But running an e-commerce business is not something you should play around or risk. Don't focus on the good old days. Look forward to the good new days.